11 years ago on this day, terror, dozens of powerful tornadoes ripped across the state of Alabama. Houses, businesses were leveled, families left to rebuild while mourning the loss of loved ones. Since that day, an ongoing effort to ensure individuals, especially in rural communities, have somewhere safe to go. ABC 3340's Ashley Gooden is live in Cordova, where storm shelters were welcomed with open arms. Pam and Muriel, this flag continues to fly in memory of the lives lost from this community, but also in remembrance of how far everyone has come. The addition of storm shelters has given more people a sense of security. I interrupted Renee Side's lunch, but talking about Cordova's resilience is something she doesn't mind. Cordova is your typical small town. We're a family here. A small town with a big heart that was broken on April 27, 2011. The tornadoes took away our ability to connect as a community because you'd go into the, the pharmacy to pick up your medicine or to pick up something and then you'd see four or five people that you knew on the sidewalks. And because of the absence of those buildings, you don't have the opportunity to connect as a community anymore. People like Renee are happy to tell the story of people coming together the days, weeks, and even years after. They may not have thought that it meant it was a, a huge deal to us, but it was a huge deal. Every, every card that we received, every shipment of water that we received from a church, from an organization, it meant so much to this community, and it'll never be forgotten. Since then, storm shelters added to the community. Our public works department goes through and makes sure that they're ready to take people and, and to protect them. These shelters offering peace of mind. But having those facilities available in the, the residential communities that people live, it's, uh, it's invaluable. I mean, it's, it's so, you don't have to worry that they've got a place to go. Um, anytime that there's a threat of severe weather, uh, those storm shelters are opened up. And the work continues with shelters scheduled to be built in Glenwood, Graysville, Palmerdale, and the Warrior River community. The shelters here have electricity, running water, and can hold 100 people. Now, newer shelters being built cost around $300,000. Ivan Cordova, Ashley Gooden. ABC 3340 News. And there are few people who understand the scope of April 27th better than our own James Spann. And James, this was a generational event that has had a profound impact on you. It did. I want to show some images from that particular day. And for those that did not live through this, we had 62 tornadoes. The death toll was 252. That is not acceptable for anybody in the weather enterprise. And we learned that day that we've all got work to do. We have to blend in social science to physical science. We have to have people getting a weather radio in their homes. Stop relying on sirens. Uh, we need to reduce the number of false alarms in the weather enterprise. We need to teach how polygon warnings work. A lot of improvements have been made over the course of the last 11 years and understand these type days happen about once every 40 years. But all it takes is one. If there's one tornado in the entire state, if that comes down your street, that's your April 27th. And again, we will always, always, always remember what happened on this day.